So on this episode of Fish Addictions TV, we're heading to the Devil's Lake Basin to hang out with the guys from Bry's Guide Service for a couple days. Now, we're on early ice for this episode, so we're gonna explain to you some key points of staying safe during early ice season. Now, we've got a large group of the Fish Addiction staff members with us to help in the search. We're after walleyes, and we might run into some perch and some pike. Being that we're out here on early ice, we're gonna be utilizing a lot of different tools. We're gonna to be running around on the lake with sleds and four-wheelers, to utilizing Bry's Guide Service DAC shacks, to even fishing in the snow bear. With the amount of people that we have on the ice this weekend, we're gonna be able to cover a lot of water. It's gonna be a run and gun style fishing episode, and hopefully we can get on some fish for you guys. Stick with us for more fishing from Devil's Lake, North Dakota. Careful. Fish Addictions TV is brought to you by these fine sponsors. Man, it's great to be out here on the ice finally. We've had such a late start to ice fishing this year and to be on eight, eight, nine inches of solid ice feels great. And early ice is a really special time of year out here at Devil's Lake. Uh, up in the northern basins here, it freezes over quite a bit faster than any other place around here. You know, the one nice thing about Devil's Lake is there's lots of bays, there's lots of uh, nooks and crannies, and we are one of the few places that does have ice right now. And uh, we're fishing on shallow water right now and the ice is good. There's a lot of different places in Devil's Lake, and there's a lot of areas you don't want to be fishing, but this is definitely one of the areas you can be out. The lake has raised significantly in the last 20 years, which creates structure unlike anywhere else. My favorite part of these trips is when I started Fish Addictions, my vision was to get a bunch of guys that just wanted to fish together. So we're out here with 14 guys drilling holes, bringing fish topside, laughing, joking, you know, and just having that amount of guys made us really be able to tear apart this lake fairly quick and get on the fish. It was a key to our success this week. Nice, give you a hand. Nice. Get this out of the way for you. Nice fish. Cut that hook off him. Wow. Holy crap. Beauty. Might off. be the nicest one yeah. of the day. Beautiful fish. Yep, glow, white, and green slender spoon again. So what are you do what are you doing? Tell us what you're doing to make this make this happen. Oh well, that slender spoon's doing a lot of it, but it's a real hard bottom that we're finding here and I'm, I'm bouncing it off the bottom a couple times and raising it up slow and then I give it a little flicker and let it let it settle down, let it flicker down and once it flickers down you'll see them, you'll just see a little flash on the graph like you said where you're fishing real shallow water and then uh, you bounce it off the bottom, snap it up and they can't, can't resist it. Absolutely, beautiful. Job, nice job, awesome job. Keep it going.
We're out here on Devil's Lake fishing with Bry's Guide Service, and one of the biggest tools that we have right now in our arsenal is this ion. The ion can drill about a thousand inches of ice with an eight inch bit, and it just eats through the ice. And now with one of the new features on this ion, you have the reverse mode. And basically you drill your hole, fit reverse, flush it right out, and you're ready to fish right then and there. There's no scooping anymore. And being in mobile, we've got 40 holes drilled out in a grid out here, and we're just able to pop each hole, just keep going, keep going. We've got 40 holes on one battery, and it is cold out here today. And uh, it's still popping holes fresh. It was really cool to get someone like Sid up here from South Dakota who's never experienced Devil's Lake walleye fishing or walleye fishing of this caliber. It's really great being able to come out here with the team and being able to just jump on one of the snowmobiles and ride along with these guys and uh, joke around a lot. It's been really good. The hospitality has been wonderful. This trip has definitely been memorable to me. Um, meeting everyone for the first time and this one definitely I'll, I'll remember. The ice is here, the fish are biting, we're excited. Stick with us, this is Fish Addictions TV. The Slender Spoon, ice fishing's hottest bait below the ice for walleye, perch, and panfish is now available in a new line of Pro Series finishes. Offering the same deadly fluttering action on the fall as the original, the new Pro Series Slender Spoon features a highly detailed match the hatch finish and sticky sharp BMC spark point hooks. Pro Series Slender Spoons from custom jigs and spins, guaranteed to be this winter's hottest bait below the ice. Now coming up to Devil's Lake and uh, spending some time with the guys at Bry's Guide Service, Mark Bry included, is, is just a pleasure. I mean, they're super personable people, easy to get along with, and they know what they're doing. They put you on quality numbers of quality fish. Bry's Guide Service is incredible. I mean, they put in the hours to try to help you out, uh, make it so you're successful. You show up, you meet a professional guide, guides that are on the water 250 plus days a year, this is the ultimate fishing experience with Bry's Guide Service. Fish on. Fish on. All right. Let me get your hand on your mic. Get that back so. You bet. Ooh, Got a little tug to it, huh? Ooh, nice oh, one. nice. Yeah. Well done. Nice, Shallow water. Nice wall, y'all. Huh? Yeah. Sure. Look <laughs> how thick that fish is, huh? Yeah. We're only fishing four feet of water right here, right off an edge of a weed line out on a big flat. Uh, we're fishing the Devil's Lake Basins with, basins with Bry's Guide Service. Bry, tell us a little bit about what we are doing here, like where we're at, you know, why we're targeting the fish right here. Well, what we're doing is we're just fishing off a weed line and, and behind us is the basin of the lake and these weeds are full of bait and these fish come through here and they actually, they probably don't even really leave here. And we're just kind of ambushing them, waiting for them to come through, but it's a quick thing because all of a sudden, boom, there's a fish down there and they hit hard and it's aggressive. And it, you almost think you have a northern pike on or something different. It's like like walleye on steroids because it's just a hard hit. You can see how hard this one hit even right here. It's just- I saw him, there he was. Yeah, but what a beautiful fish. Four feet of water, guys. We're fishing on Devil's Lake Basin. Four feet of water. Awesome. Let's get another nice job. one. All right, frying pan. Now when you're search fishing, um, working a structural element, which you want to do, or what I do anyways, I'll run three different rods. One's going to have a search bait, something loud, noisy, flashy. Um, B3 blade baits are a great option for this bait category. Next is going to be a meat delivery system. Um, a lot of times when you're fishing those aggressive baits like that, the fish will show up, you'll locate them, but they won't commit, um, especially on cold front conditions like we've got today, to where the next category, your meat delivery system, that's going to be your jigging spoon. There's all different variations of, of them out there. The one that I prefer is the, the 516 ounce slender spoon. The next is going to be your, your finesse bait. Um, those are on the tougher days where you've really got to dial down your downsize, you fish your plastics. 
Um, fish smaller baits, if, if you're fishing walleyes, um, works really well with just a minnow head and you just, I mean, literally just little subtle motions. But that's going to be your high pressure days, your, your fish are in a really tentative negative mood. Um, but yeah, so don't limit yourself with the amount of options you have, especially when you're hole hopping. If you mark a fish, you're searching for fish, you find that fish, you want to be able to throw as many baits in front of that fish as you can so you can figure out what the pattern is for that particular day. This weekend we had a lot of success on Devil's Lake and the key to it was mobility. We had a lot of people out drilling holes, working different structures. On uh, several occasions we drilled a bunch of holes, didn't really get into them, moved 20, 30 feet, drilled some holes and it was like we just landed right on the X. We had to follow these fish around and move from structural element to structural element. Whether it be a weed line, a hump out in the middle of the lake, looking at maps back at the shop the night before. There is a piece of lake information that not a lot of people realize. You can hop on Google Earth and click on the historic imagery button and you can go all the way back in time to before the lake came up. Um, just putting all of the tools in our kit to use on ice. Those are all the little things that add to the big things, after those nice walleyes. Make sure you guys stick with us for more Fish Addictions TV. For more information on Fish Addictions TV, check them out on all their social media. Devil's Lake is a, is a world-class fishery. We have walleye, we have northern pike, we have jumbo perch. The fish quality in Devil's Lake is unbelievable. We were catching a lot of those fish and our average must have been 17, 18 inches, even with fish up to 24, 25 inches. We have strong classes of perch as well. The 2011 and 2013 classes were very strong. The excitement level of knowing that as soon as you see a mark on your graph, it's going to be a decent fish, it puts your stress level a little bit higher because you don't want to miss that fish. You want that fish to be coming up on the top of the ice. Oh, got one here. Oh, oh, dude. That is what a Devil's Lake perch looks like, buddy. You ever seen one of them? No. That's what I came from. That is awesome. Congrats, dude. Man, I hope there's a few more of those around here. Yeah, I wouldn't mind getting a couple of those. That's just Holy crap, dude. I'd say he's 14-ish inches. That is a big perch in anybody's playbook, man. Nice fish. I'm going to go see if I can stick one. This weekend is definitely going to go down in my books as one of the most memorable. We put hundreds of fish ice side and hundreds of decent fish coming up through that hole. That's something that I'm never going to be able to forget. Now the staff at Bryce Guide Service have multiple ways of getting you on fish. Um, from the run and gun style fishing that we were doing up here. Uh, he's got, he's running Eskimo portable houses that they're able to just move run and gun all over the lake, stay on the bite, stay with the fish. They've got the snow bear and the snow bear is the ultimate fishing adventure, man. You get in that snow bear and you're moving, 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 plop it down, get on the fish. The fish stop biting, get back in, raise the snow bear up, and away you go again, and you're warm. To uh, getting out of the wind in a hard sided dack shack. So we have an option, a package, we believe, for every client and every customer. Oh, yeah, that's beautiful. 
One of the great amenities that Bry's Guide Service has are these DAC shacks. Uh, it allows them to be real portable and comfortable. These things are super insulated, super light, plenty of room for four guys to fish, and they're gonna put you on walleyes like this. What do you think, man? That was pretty good. <laughs> We're gonna get this guy back. Oh, Devil's Lake, one. North Dakota. Uh, this is my first time fishing Devil's Lake on the ice. Uh, it is totally different from open water fishing on Devil's Lake. Earlier today I hooked up with a nice fish and uh, I was joking around with the guys telling them that I'm pretty sure it was a snapping turtle. Uh, it turned out to be a really nice walleye, 24 inches. Uh, Mike came over and helped me get my locator out, which is always nice, especially when you get a bigger fish on in that shallow water with little, little ice. Need help? Got it? Oh, nice dude. fish, dude. Nice fish. <laughs> We're out here in the Devil's Lake Basin catching hogs. We've caught a lot of good quality fish this weekend. We're fishing with Bry's Guide Service out on Devil's Lake. <laughs> the main lake doesn't have much ice of any. It just froze over just a day or two ago. So we're out in the northern basins fishing big walleyes. We got a big ice season ahead of us. We're finally on the ice. Stay tuned, guys. So what we got going on here today is we're out uh, <clears throat> searching for perch. Now an uh, essential tool in your arsenal to have when you're doing any type of search fishing is a flasher unit. And we use the Vexlar FLX 28. Reason being is it has some features that not a lot of other flashers on the market have. It'll give you a digital depth reading um, when you turn it into auto mode or any of the other depth settings. It'll tell you your depth. And right now what we're doing is we're, we're spread out across the mouth of a ditch and to be able to find that bottom of the trough we just real quickly zip a line of holes and check depth check depth check depth to get that to spit out right on your screen is very handy another thing with it is it comes with the uh pro view ice deucer which has you adjust your gain level to widen and narrow the cone um seems kind of weird when you're fishing shallow water like we have been this weekend but a little trick there is turn it into low power mode and then turn your gain up to where you can see your jig and what that does is it actually widens your cone out and it's it's a, a very nice feature when you're fishing shallow water to get that cone a little bit wider see those fish coming in so that that vexlar i mean any type of flasher you have um is is an essential tool in search fishing Fish Addictions TV is brought to you by these fine sponsors. So Bry's Guide Service has a lot of things to offer as far as lodging goes. We have the Fish Rehab Lodge. One of the perks of coming to Bry's Guide Service, the lodge is amazing. You go inside there and it's just like you're going home to your own house. They have great areas where everybody can get together, hang out. The living room area, you can get it together with all the other fishermen that are here. Everybody can share tips, tactics, and those, of course, fish stories. Uh, they have a great conference center with a bar. Everybody can get together, get your business done. When you're upstairs after a big long day of fishing and all you want to do is relax, you hit a nice hot shower and sleep in those beds and it's the night. It's just a bunch of buddies hanging out in a big house with lots of rooms um, to the man cave-esque feel to the shop that you can just hang out in. I mean, who doesn't like hanging out in a shop? But also they've teamed up with Ackerman Acres and they have um, full lodging at the Ackerman Acres Resort. With Ackerman Acres, you have eight separate units 
for a lot of clients, you know, with up to 31 beds for clients to, to sleep comfortably. And they've got an awesome restaurant, great food. And at Ty's Lounge, it's like a bar grill type deal. You can throw darts, have a beer, eat a pizza, whatever you want, just enjoy yourself. With that, you can stay here and you can be guided by our guides through Bry's Guide Service. We have a full bait shop, which we're standing in right now. When you make a phone call here, it's a one-stop shop. You have your lodging, you have your fishing, you have your bait. Uh, if you want to have food, everything is just included and right uh, close together. At Fish Addictions, we're about being a team. You know, without having everybody out here doing their fair share, coming out, everybody's grabbing fish, throwing them on the table, getting the fillet knives out. Uh, we got one guy cheeking the walleyes, another guy filleting them. You know, it's an awesome experience at the end of the day to go to a large shop and just hang out with a bunch of guys. You know, I'm very excited to have the connection with Fish Addictions. Mike and Josh and all the staff over there, they're good people, they're honest people, they're hardworking, and they have a, a similar interest with me and that's the outdoors, and they want to show people the, the outdoors in a good time and a positive time. This weekend has been great for me. Um, I always like getting together with these guys. It's, it's nice to have the same passion, and you all work together for one common goal. It's, it's not only a bunch of great people coming together, we have great sponsors, and we're able to get out on the ice and share with everybody our tactics, our tips to, to help other people put fish on the ice. They're more than just a, team of fish addictions, we're, we're a big family here and that's the way we like to think of things.